All right, what have we got? Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Dude. Evade electric? No. All right. They can't counter you. Yo, okay. Come on. Enemy down. Give them one for me. Senpai. Enemy down. Yo, mind if I kick a little ass here? Go for it, Kanji. <laughs> you ready for this? Atomic press. Kanji defeated two enemies. Go team. All right. What is this one weak to? Just, just lightning. Is that all we know? Let's try fire. Someone finish this one off. One enemy to go. Come here, Take Take it it up. Up. Yeah. Down. Just say the word and it's go time. On Dan. Is everyone ready? Get set. They even interrupt <laughs> themselves. Like no. Go! Knock them out. Nice. What, uh, I don't know what Kanji's holding. He's holding a whole lot of something, though. Akasha Arts. What is that? Nice, hey, level 90. All right, I leveled up. Here, I'll let you know what Kanji's holding in a second. Kanji is holding a, <laughs> a demon shield. Whatever that means. You okay, Yosuke Senpai? Yosuke's fine. Actually, we should heal him. All right. Be careful. There's an ice immune enemy. Oh man, I wonder which one the ice immune one is. It. Nice move, Senpai. Dude. That's great, Senpai. Ooh, they resist you that. Really get me going. Ah! All right, what do we got? Another rank nine sword. We have to take those. They're so good. Meteor Rahan. I mean, it's no. No, nothing else, but I guess it completes our collection. Hey, it's the stairs. Nice. What the fuck? Careful, it's immune to physical attacks. Let's just make it though. Resist. Scan. It's weak to wind. Oh, ideal. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? Persona. Enemy down. Keep That's out of Yosuke way, Senpai. Yosuke Senpai. Persona. Yosuke Senpai was cool? No way. Brilliant Cyclops. You can win this. All right, let's try fire. Let's go. Repel. Ah. Just two left. Oh. Come on, this fight's not over. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that from you, Kanji. Screw down. Persona. Nice. All right. Maybe. Nope. No such luck. All right. All right. Level up. Huh? A dead end. There's something in the center of this area. You ready? Okay. You ready? 
Oh god. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Yeah, let's hit this boy. Enemy down. Nice All right, keep going. And then let's try Matsio. Dude. Oh god. Yosuke Senpai was cool? No way! Megado. Do it to him. Uh, it's quite tenacious. Come on. I believe in you. It ain't going down. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Counting on you. Persona. Okay, we got some items here. Ooh. Fire amp, nice. <laughs> You've welcomed Seth into your heart. Oh, nice. Everman? Yo, let's go! Bald as fuck. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna sidestep this guy. And this guy. I want to see what's in here. Lamau bite. Oh, what? Went the wrong way. Get fucked on. Absolutely easy. What is that? <gasps> You're not getting away from us. Oh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Dude. All right, don't get countered, Yosuke. Damn, it's nice. not going down. Three enemies left. You can win this. Persona. <laughs> Fuck. The homunculus sacrificed itself. What homunculus? Now Tokun can't use her persona now. Fuck. Ooh. Yo, mind if I kick a little ass here? Go for it, Kanji. I'll send you to hell. It doesn't really matter because we've got Megadolon. Bakum. Jesus, that's so much damage. All right. Huge. Ha! More power for me. My skills have been honed. Easy. Oh, is this a big spiral? Oh, god damn it. Someone call what's his nuts. 
You know who I'm talking about. You know, what is nuts? That one artist. Fuck! Thought he went the other way. Careful, it's immune to physical attacks. Counting on you. Nice. Oof. Nah. Yeah, he's just doing permanent T pose. You're on a roll, Senpai. Two defeated. All right. All yours. Nice. Well done, everyone. You know, we've we got a bunch of people with, like, uh, uh, traditional weaponry. Come on, please, give me some healing! You know, we got a sword. You know, Yosuke, he's got two small swords. Kanji has a table. And then Naoto just has a fucking gun. Something's beyond here. Senpai, are you ready? Yep. What the fuck? Is this the Eiffel Tower? Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Whoa, Kanji, that was great. Thank God we all dodged that. So darkness won't work. Nobody's surprised. What about wind? Nope. Turn. All right. Let's hit it with debilitate real quick. One enemy to go. Keep it up. And let's hit our boy with heat riser. And then power charge. <laughs> For physical. Please don't die, Naoto. Okay. Good move, Naoto -kun. You're on a roll. Let's see if physical is good. Miss. Now. Uh. All right. Let's hit it with Mega Dome. Not very much damage. Uh, did we already try fire? I can't remember. I don't think so. Resist. Okay, how about... Okay. Uh, let's use Masuku. Alright, um, mind charge. Not like that's really gonna do anything, but <laughs> come on down. Damn, <laughs> finish it. Kanji. Come, Himiko. What? All allies defense increased? I've never seen that before. High counter, get fucked on. All right, make it alone. Nice. All right, we won. Dude, Kanji just fucked that thing. All right, senpai. 
We're getting pretty close to max level. Nice. Yes, the power's getting weaker. We might be able to pass through that place now. Let's go back, Senpai. You okay, Yosuke Senpai? You look hurt. He's fine. Okay, we have too many of these. Uh, let's. I guess if I just use the go home, that'll send me here. We'll stay here. Go to Magatsu Inaba. And then we need to go find what's his nuts. I always knew France would be in some sort of hell world. Let's go. What the fuck? Hold on. Adachi's just up ahead. This is it, Senpai. <sighs> okay. I'm surprised you made it this far. Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates! Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? Dude, that's like saying... Aw oh man, Saw isn't really the bad guy. He just... he... he helps people. He rehabilitates people. It's not him that kills people, it's his traps. This world reflects people's thoughts. Oh, sure. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? <laughs> to hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! If that's not a crime, then what is? <laughs> You're so self-righteous. Not really. But yeah, also kinda. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. 
Yeah, all right. You know why I applied? So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. I thought it would be fun, too. But to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. Y'all right, incel. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud! Why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. You don't even know the name of the town. I did that stuff because I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. <laughs> no one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Well, yeah, we're on a fucking massive rock floating through space. We're waiting it out. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? Maybe. That's complete BS! Brats like you are so damn naive, you piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see, you'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk. I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Nah. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No. This'll make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? Come on. How many people out there actually think about what's real or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. What? <laughs> you don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. Isn't that like a really big part of like just basic philosophy? that a lot of people practice what is real, what is right and wrong. Like, come on, man. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Oh god, hopefully half of that if I'm lucky. Then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. Nah. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. <laughs> Redditors trying to explain to you why the age of consent should be lowered to 12. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Nah. Be careful! I don't know what's happening! He's going Super Saiyan! Oh my god, he just used the Kaioken! You all saw shadows as mere monsters, didn't you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. 
You annoying little brats are the ones who aren't wanted in the new world! Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way! People can't live alone. If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Facts. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. I reject my humanity, Jojo. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Dude, spitting fucking facts, Naoto. You tell him. Shut up! Stop, Stop trying, trying to act all tough. tough. You, you guys, guys can't, can't even stand, stand on, on your own, own unless, unless you, you deny, deny everything, everything I said. Stupid teenagers! You have no idea what kind of shit I've been through! Favored by the world, my ass. I'm gonna say it flat out. You're just a worthless criminal! Oh my god. Here he comes. This'll probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got! The world is about to change! Your existence won't belong there! I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague! I'll have to get rid of all of you! I wish we could get rid of you, but we'll make sure you pay for what you've done! Let's do it! If we work together, there's no chance we could lose to a man like this! I mean, he has a gun. Shut up! Get lost! Get the hell out of my sight! I can't believe he's the one! That bastard! We can't lose, no matter what! I agree. First, debuff. Second, check stats. Wind? Not effective. But not uneffective. Heat riser. Hit him with it. All yours. Next. Power charge. <laughs> oh my god. Persona? But that can't be. It's Izanagi. Okay. That means he should be weak to wind, but he's not. Alright, physical doesn't seem especially... ...powerful. Let's try fire. All right. Primal Force. <laughs> All right. Hit him with it. Nice. All right. We need to hit him with... Wait, it doesn't work? Uh... All right. That's fine. I wanted to get rid of his buffs from Heat Riser, but... I guess the game won't let me. Speaking of Heat Riser... Let's hit Kanji with it. And then let's power charge. <laughs> Come on down. Damn brats! Shut up and let me finish you off. Vorpal blade. <laughs> Himiko. 
Oh, nice job, asshole. All allies are charged up and focused. You bet. Okay. Here, let's try Primal Force again. Oh no. Okay. Oh. That was scary. That would have instantly killed me. And if the main character dies, that's game over. For reals. Alright, Yosuke. I'm gonna have you heal everyone. Uh, where is it? Medical kit? Medical kit. Or is it Makaleaf? Yeah, we'll do Makaleaf because Kanji needs some extra. Alright. Heat Riser. Torrent Shot. Come on, we can do this. Let's go. Come on, Kanji. That guy. Damn, this is lame. <laughs> oh well, our world's gonna disappear soon, no matter what. I didn't have anywhere to go back to, anyways. Everyone's gonna become shadows. <laughs> <laughs> humans will become shadows and I shall descend upon the United world as the master of order descend order what's with this guy all of a sudden what's happening guys this isn't a dachi it's someone completely different both this world and yours will soon be enclosed in a fog that never lifts it will be the peaceful world that mankind has longed for. Who are you? I am Amino Sagiri. One who rules the fog. One awakened by man's desires. Do what you will, but your world's erosion cannot be stopped. It is an inevitability. You played your part well. Stirring up the will of the masses into madness. But that will soon come to an end. Mankind will soon become shadows and live on in the darkness of the fog. Oblivious of their reality. What the hell are you? Why are you doing this? I am the one that shepherds humans to their true desires. 
Though their hearts longed for peace, it could never be attained. So they tore down the wall between image and reality. Indeed, this is the outcome desired by mankind. And mankind's desires are my desires. That is why I decided to expand this world. You're saying you're the one who created this nasty-ass world? This is part of the sea of unconsciousness that exists within human hearts. A hollow force born from bloated desire and false imagery. Humans view things as they see fit. They wish not for truth, but rather prefer the undesirables be hidden in fog. Still, humans fear what they cannot see. That brief yearning for truth becomes a ray of light which breaks the fog and torments the shadows. That's why they attack and kill whoever's nearby at that time. A hollow forest. Then this place isn't simply affected by people's hearts. It actually exists inside them? Mankind abandoned its pursuit of truth placing itself in the depth of chaos and falsehood. Thus, my strength has grown, and the fog will not lift. Your world will be engulfed by the hollow forest. Will you shut up already? <laughs> Seriously. We'll just use our power to beat the heck out of you and it'll all be over. It was I who made it possible for you to bring about this destiny. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the Hollow Forest. That is what allowed you to come in contact with this world, and you all have done very well since. Bestowed power? Contact with this world? You mean the power to enter the TV? Then the Midnight Channel, was that phenomenon also your doing? Humans fail to see things as they truly are. They choose to see only what they wish. I acted only in support of this. A world filled with desires, viewed through a window from which one sees what one wishes to see. Humans departed from reality of their own volition, craving more false images. A window that shows people what they want to see. So that's why those who got famous suddenly appeared on the Midnight Channel, one after another. It was all in people's minds. I have to say, it must be true. The Midnight Channel we saw in Namatame's hospital room, that kept bothering me since. What we saw there wasn't Namatame's true intentions at all. Then it came on because we were all thinking, this person must be the killer, he can't be forgiven? We let ourselves be deluded. Exactly. The more false images one yearns for, the more one stops yearning for reality. And so the forest grows on. That is the expansion of this world. Enough talk already! Long story short, you're the one behind all this! Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're going down! People want to become shadows? Their desire is your desire? To hell with that! When did we wish for that crap anyways? We kept fighting and fighting like morons to get where we're standing. Yes, that I did not foresee. The ability to master your own shadow that emerged to kill you and use its power. A new and uncertain facet of mankind. Is it worthy to put my trust in, or not? It must be tested. What the hell? Is the cause 
you want so far but that'll end when we crush you precisely then we know what we gotta do now i don't want people to turn into shadows we'll defeat it for sure i'll back you up with everything i've got this thing has no right to exist mm. <laughs> mm. all right Is a senseless act which goes against your world's wishes. Now, let everything vanish into the sweet fog of illusion. Let's finish off ugly here. We ain't about to let a gross looking eyeball do whatever it wants. Let us begin. All right. The usual. Two turns? Gee, Bill. How come your mom lets you have two turns? Hanji can't use his persona. actually works out pretty well. God's judgment. What the hell? about that one chief why act against the wishes of your fellow man consider is that truly just i don't know my fellow man seems kind of really sick of the fog except for like those two weird people who are like oh yeah this is great i love this Counter. All right. Kanji can't use his persona. Get a mask. We're gonna go to die. 
Seems appropriate. Kanji has recovered. Good, good, good. We're gonna Mataru. Oh no. Okay. Uh, did I already mind charge? I did, okay. Megido. Yosuke, you need to heal. You know, just heal everyone. Hit him with it, Yosuke. Let's go. Just boys. All right, primal force. Come on down. Do it to him. Why are you such a big eyeball? That's my question. Oh no. Attacks won't connect. Oh god. Uh, I need to guard. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Fuck you. Seriously. Making me use my diamond shield. Piece of shit. Yours. 
primal force. <laughs> Come on now. Hit it with debilitate again. Fuck. All right. Miss. Okay. Give Naoto a physical barrier. <laughs> Come on down. Miss. We need to heal. Badly. I'm pissed now! Let's increase everyone's evasion rate. I'll have my revenge for that! Another diamond shield. And then... You make sure you're back up to full, Kanji. Guarding. Persona. Ah, that's no good. Debilitate. Masku. Just quickly heal everyone. Doesn't even need to be that much. Increase everyone's attack. Come on down. Come, Himiko. Nice. Ugh. 
Damn. All right. We need to finish this dude off. Primal Force! Come on down! Yeah, Kanji! Desires are my desires. If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. I am always at your side, watching. Well, don't wait up! We'll keep that from happening no matter what! Shut up, Teddy. Time will show the path humanity takes. Children of the new potential. Damn. You think it was controlling Adachi-san? Who can say? I believe it was at least partially his own intention as well. So that's it, huh? <clears throat> hmm. Fine. Live however you want. If you think you have the power to change the future, then go right ahead. Everyone has the power to do that. <laughs> Get out of here. The shadows will finish me off. Just leave me be. You came to kill me in the first place, didn't you? Actually, no. No, dumbass. If we leave you here dying, and a dead body eventually appears, then what? What's that accomplish for anyone? Only causes more confusion. Your stupid game's over. We're taking you back. Live and face your punishment. That's how it works in our world. Right. I'm sure that's the outcome Dojima-san wishes for as well. Hmm. At last. You and your friends have thwarted the cause of all the strife. Rank 9? What? That's not rank 10? Alright, whatever. Fuck. Greetings, Shirogane-san. We got word from Detective Dojima. He's wanted on suspicion of murdering Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi, right? Correct. Understood. We have an ambulance waiting downstairs. Should we have them bring the stretcher up here? An ambulance? Detective Dojima assumed one would be necessary. He wanted the suspect to be carefully taken into protective custody. It... Well, it was a personal favor to him. They were partners, after all. Then yes, please have them bring up the stretcher. Understood. Hmm. You should be grateful to Dojima. Breaking through the fog. Like you promised, 
right? Oh, Makoto! Don't run like that! It's for real! The fog's really gone! <laughs> we did it. This time it's for real. Hmm? What's up, senpai? Did you think I was crying? It's just so bright. It's been so long since the sky was that blue. It's finally over. Thank you, guys. Hey, don't get all sappy. We did this together. But, well, this means we've won. <laughs> Huh? What are we doing? Yeah, what, what the fuck is going on? Ooh, what's this? Everyone ready? Here goes! We did it! <laughs> Why didn't you guys say it? You all joined in when Risa John did it! Um, I think that was a little too hard to get on the spot. Which part did you mean for us to say? <laughs> Can we just do it over? <laughs> Man, having to redo something like this kind of kills the fun of it. All right, Chia, do that weird call again. Not if you're going to call it weird. <laughs> um, people are beginning to stare. I don't think we should stay like this much longer. Um, my hand's getting kind of sweaty. Sheesh. Fine, then. It's all yours, Sensei. Okay. Did our best. With everyone's help, you were finally able to lift the fog in closing the town. Seekers of the Truth, max rank. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Lucifer, the ultimate form of the Judgment Arcana. The Seekers of Truth social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Seekers of Truth social link. Your power to create personas of the Judgment Arcana has reached its maximum. Common Cold has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Judgment Social Link, you can now fuse Lucifer, the Rebel King of Hell. Dude, aren't you supposed to do this before you start something, not after it's over? Yeah, it's whatever. Huh? Who cares? <laughs> The battle has finally come to an end. The one behind everything has withdrawn, and the fog enclosing the town has lifted. And? And? Yes. Please. December 23rd, evening. Christmas Eve is tomorrow. The screen reads, one new message. Senpai, if you'd like, we can meet up tomorrow for Christmas Eve. If possible, I'd like to spend tomorrow with you. Um, okay. Hold on.
Uh, if you're around, could use some on Hold on, I need to take a second to fix my headphones. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. So in Japan, at least from what I've heard, from sources, not not the person I asked advice from. This is actually from my own knowledge. Uh, Christmas is something to spend time with your partner. Not necessarily family, you know, although people do spend time with family sometimes on Christmas. It's primarily something that, you know, you, you do with, like, a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And seeing as Ayane is, is the person we decided to romance, I think we should spend time with Ayane. You invited Ayane to your house for a romantic evening on Christmas Eve. The only way I've ever celebrated Christmas has been with my parents. We always throw beans at the end, too, but that's not supposed to be done on throw Christmas, Throw beans? Right? <laughs> you eat all my beans? <laughs> Ayane is embarrassed. Lovely preparations. Oh, thank you. Well, I have a present for you. Hand knit mitten. Say that five times fast. I'm really into knitting, and I happen to find some wool that might look good on you. Thank you very much, I tried knitting at school all the time, but my teacher would always end up confiscating it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll keep you warm, senpai. <laughs> Why don't you warm me up? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't, you know what? There's no way I would ever say that. IRL. I, I would not like have, I don't have the fucking balls to say that. Not even in a video game. 
You had a wonderful Christmas Eve with Ayane. Oh, it's getting late. Is it? Uh, uh, um, can I stay here a little longer? My parents are gone on vacation, and no one's home, so... <gasps> Don't worry, I, I won't stay too long. Huh? You want me to stay longer? I never said that. Get the fuck out. <laughs> sure, senpai. Oh, of course. <laughs> Christmas Eve continues. Near the end of the year, December 25th, Juness at the usual food court. So the case is closed for reals this time. Yep. I think we can safely leave the rest to the police. Adachi has confessed his crimes, so I'm sure Namatame's presumed guilt will be re-examined as well. I see. Then that really wraps it up. Yep. What do you do now, Teddy? You're not going back over there, are you? You better not, you dumb bear. You don't know how much you worried us last time. I won't suddenly disappear like that again. <laughs> Damn straight you won't. Man, just stay here, all right? It's Tojima. Hey, it's me. Good news. It looks like they're letting Nanako come home for a bit. Woo, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! She's got a good amount of strength back, too. If all goes well, she might be able to leave the hospital for the time being. And as for me, they said I just needed to see a doctor regularly. So I'm planning to come home with Nanako today. Sorry I had to stick you with all the housework. I'll make up for it somehow. Anyway, see you later. You told everyone about Dojima's message. Really? Nanako-chan's coming home? I'm so happy for her. Me too. I'm really glad. Just remember to keep it in your pants, bear boy. The fog's all gone over here because everyone tried so hard. And now Nanako-chan's gotten better. Nanako-chan tried hard too. She... She's such an amazing girl. <laughs> 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 Seriously, thank heavens she's okay. Where are you touching? <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's throw a big Christmas party for Nanako-chan! A party, you say? I'm sure Nanako-chan will be delighted! We'll need a cake then. Of course. G guys, please say you're not gonna... Huh? We're gonna make one. Of course we're gonna make one. Uh, everyone should make one, not just the girls. I've already researched the ingredients. And hey, Yukiko actually knows how to cook now, so... Well, hey, kinda. wait, wait a sec, whoa there! That's way too tall an order for you! Let's go to the grocery department! Come on, Natto-kun, you too! B but I've never baked a cake. Don't worry, neither have we! Hey, Dojima. It's so warm. So this is the fabled Kotatsu. Uh, uh, yeah, fabled? I was really looking forward to the new Kotatsu. Yeah, you talked about it all the time at the hospital. 
Nanako needs to go back for a full checkup early next year, but if they don't find anything wrong, they'll let her go immediately. Nice. If I'd gotten better sooner, we would have been able to buy the Katatsu together. Sorry. Hey, I'm just glad Nanako got better. Listen. Sorry you went through that. I don't mind, since Big Bro and everyone came to rescue me. What happened to her anyways? Um, she died. Sorry for the wait! Oh no, the Christmas edition of Mystery Food X is about to be served. Yeah, but she resuscitated. So she's good now. No, nah, she was like in serious critical condition to the point where she was literally declared dead. And then she just like got back. Bring it on. I'm ready. Got my insurance card and everything. Got my insurance card and everything. It's a cake. Hey, this is bigger than I imagined. Yeah, how the fuck did you guys cook this? Where did you cook this? I don't think we even have an oven. Well, wait, Nanako-chan. I'll be the first one to... No! <laughs> it's delicious! Oh, thank God. It tastes really good! Th that can't be... No. Has she lost all sense of taste? <laughs> She's right. It's like nothing you've tasted before. Did you guys really make this? There's no way. Huh? Uh, of course we did. Does it actually taste like something? It's not hot, is it? <laughs> How is it, Kanji? Hmm? It, it's amazing! It's not... Boneless. they say about true talent not needing to show off. Turns out we had good taste in cooking after all. Yeah, it only took you like four months. I don't know, it looks really good. Actually, it's got strawberries in it. The filling, whatnot. <sighs> then again, this one was our third attempt. Hey, Yosuke! Chie-chan and the others really are talented chefs. Three stars for sure. Three stars. I impossible. This actually tastes good. Wait, I didn't already pass out, did I? This isn't a dream, right? <laughs> um, Nana-chan, guess what I have? I swear to God, Teddy. Ta-da! A Christmas present for you! Oh. Oh, it looks just like you. I wish I could have made it look better. But I thought it'd keep you company at the hospital, Nana-chan. Oh, and it's made from 100% pure teddy fur. I'm a guy who's all about using all natural materials. All right. Isn't that nice of him, Nanako? Teddy fur. <laughs> You, Teddy. I have to thank you all again. Adachi confessed to the two murders. He insists it was him who hung the bodies, too. There are still things that are unclear about his story, but he's most likely gonna pay for his crimes. Thank God. Anyway, this was one strange case. If what you said about a world inside the TV was true, and everything might make sense. Though I still don't believe it. <laughs> I can't blame you, honestly. Some things in this world just can't be explained. Like Nanako. She made a miraculous recovery, and now she's as healthy as ever. Back in the day, my own senpai on the forest told me something. 
there's an underside to everything that you can never see. This case has made me think about a lot of things. You've helped us out so much. <laughs> it was meant to be the other way around, really. There isn't much time left until spring, but I hope I can do some catching up until then. That's right. You're only here until spring, huh? <sighs> Senpai, you're going back? It won't be the same without you. Sensei, are you going somewhere? Um... I have to keep my promise. Yeah, that's always been the deal from the beginning. <laughs> but it's way too early to talk about that stuff. Come on, spring's a long ways off, right? Let's have all the fun we can until then. <laughs> hey, don't get too carried away. My sis would kill me if you got yourself held back a year. <laughs> oh, but then you wouldn't have to go back, huh? Wow, if that happened, I'd be in the same grade as Senpai. All right. You're... You're down a year. <laughs> Call me Senpai anyway. You received a Christmas costume from Dojima. It seems it was originally supposed to be used in a festival at the police station. Obtain Christmas costume. Yo! Yo, what's up, Yosuke? Man, yesterday was great. We haven't had that much fun in a while. And there's no case to worry about anymore, either. Let's just keep hanging out and having fun into the next year. Oh, that reminds me. Did you see the weather forecast? Looks like it's going to rain tonight. Are you worried? Yeah, it's been on my mind, too. Since we beat that Amano Sagiri thing, the case should really be closed, right? I'm just a little skeptical, so you should check the TV, too, if you have the time. Makes sense. Alright, I understand that you're all excited about the vacation, but we're having the end of term assembly in the gym now. <laughs> I'm so excited for winter break. Got this beautiful coat. All my adult charm is just going to come bursting out. Um, enjoy your winter vacation, everyone. Don't get too crazy. Yeah, alright. The closing ceremony has ended. The second term ends today. You decided to go straight home. You're back. So you're home. It's been getting cold lately. You're not catching a cold or anything, right? It's not like the city here. You should wear another shirt over that. The weather report said it was going to snow tomorrow. If it snows, the veggies will catch a cold. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to worry. That one's gonna handle everything so that the vegetables don't get sick, right? Once you get cold enough to snow, uh, you will not be able to raise vegetables in the garden anymore. Unfortunate. How you doing, Nanako? That cake was really good. It wasn't spicy at all. <laughs> that was one rowdy Christmas. It made Nanako real happy, too. I have to thank you. Things wouldn't have gone the way they... Uh, that way, if it had only been me here. You need to return to your room. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. Here, let's save real quick. It's raining outside. Will something appear on TV?
the TV seems to remain blank. I just got off the phone with Chie. Have you checked your TV? Nothing came on. Well, yeah, I did. Nothing came on, right? I mean, there was no glow or anything. It's definitely raining outside, though. Does this mean the Midnight Channel's off the air? I'm being serious here. Now that we beat that Amino Sagiri, the case is completely over, right? That's right. <laughs> awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to hound you for an answer. I just felt nervous. I mean, anyone would have. But it's finally sinking in. All of us together. We did it. Man, all these things are coming back to me. Like, when I put you on the spot and asked you to be our leader? <laughs> what am I getting all worked up for? The others must all be super happy right now, too. I bet Chia is practically crying her eyes out. All right, I'll call you again later. Seriously, though. Thanks. <laughs> the case has ended and the Midnight Channel seems to have stopped broadcasting as well. The Midnight Channel will surely never come on again. You decide to go to bed early for today. Peaceful days pass, and the end of the year comes. You received a text message. It's from Yosuke. Let's get everyone together and visit the shrine today. How about we meet up in front of the shrine in, uh, in the shopping district? I hear they're going to hand out Amaka Amazake. Uh, I'll contact the others. See you there. You'll be taking a trip to the shrine with everyone. It looks pretty cold outside. You recall that you have midwinter clothes in the drawers. Obtained midwinter outfit. Tatsuhime Shrine. What the sorry. fuck? Whew, sorry to keep you waiting. You wait, huh? Good? Is it just you here, Senpai? Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuru Toshi, had already started, so I rushed out here. Toshi Koshi Kuru Toshi. Sorry we're late. Hellos! What? I'm sorry, Sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. Is it now? <laughs> it's alright. Ah. You're such a good bear. You're the bear. Fucking. Fucking. Me? It was 100% your fault. But I am sorry about making you wait. We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. do 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 Talking about you, you little... Moving on. Hey, Sensei, where's Nana-chan and her dad? Huh? Doofus. You can't come out on a cold night like this. Yeah. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. Well, then, where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? D don't tell me. Is this going to be some lame guys' night celebration? <laughs> No lovely girls? Hell no. But man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. <laughs> what if they're all meeting up at Yukiko-senpai's house first? You know, like to put on their kimonos? W what? K kimonos Can't just say things like that at fucking... Did you hear that, S -S sensei Kimonos! <laughs> Calm down. Right. You guys are getting way too hot and bothered. You guys? Hey, I wasn't... <laughs> it's written all over your face. Although I must say, seeing Rizet in a kimono would be quite a sight. 
Didn't we already? Whoa. Maybe Naoto's in one too. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... I'm sorry about the wait. <gasps> the reveal. Okay. Sorry. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. Understandable. Those are some nice outfits, though. Uh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> uh, what's with the non-reaction? What? Oh, where are your kimonos? Teddy. Stop being weird. Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. See, that's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Ow, my ears! You got your hopes up on your own. Don't take it out on us. <laughs> a girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. Huh? A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Well, duh. Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. Isn't she? Isn't she, Yosuke? She wasn't implying. <laughs> My heart just froze over. Um, shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! Go! This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day! I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Stop! Go! Stop talking! <laughs> Actually... I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Yeah. Yeah. Alright everyone, let's get going! <sighs> Staying still makes me cold. They're handing out Amazaki over there. Uh uh. Not till New Year's. Hey, how huh? long till next year? Uh. Oh. oh, it's almost time. <laughs> okay! Five, four, three, two, two one! <laughs> Happy New Year, both of you. Thank you. It's not your celebration. No, none for you, Rise. The same goes for you, Yukiko. Come on, just let it go. It's snowing. Wow. Damn. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. <laughs> Moranji. Oh. Well, hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> Moranji. Shut up. Nice. The leading group has crossed the big show of bridge, and they're using their final kick as they prepare to hand off. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009. Ah, there you are. What's up, Dojima? How you doing? All right, are we ready then? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, big bro. <laughs> we'll probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year. Oh, don't even. In any case, you've changed over this past year. I think we all have. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. I feel relieved since so much happened. Thank you. Though, it is odd for me to say that, since I'm the one that caused you such trouble. <laughs> Dad, can we eat yet? Ah. Alright, 
Let's dig in. Yeah. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Really? Thanks for the food! Fucking corporations. Let's eat. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you. Uh... Uh... Kurumaki! The fuck is... I don't even know what that is. The time spent with your family passes by. It seems the Dojima family won't be going to pay their first visit of the near uh, to the shrine in consideration of Nanako's condition. You received one message. Happy New Year, Senpai. I look forward to your guidance this year as well. Uh, would you like to go and pay, pay our first visit to the shrine today? I want to draw our fortunes together. Um... Yeah. Yeah. I feel kind of bad. I haven't spent a lot of time with Ayane. Even though... You know, relationship stuff. Although... Maybe it would be nice with Ko and, uh... Daisuke. Nah, we'll go with we'll go with Ayane. Tatsuhime Shrine. It appears that Ayane hasn't arrived yet. So senpai, sorry. <clears throat> oh, goodness. I I didn't want to start the new year on a bad note. I was putting on my kimono when my dog tackled me. My obi got ruined, my kanzashi fell off, and my tabi got all dirty. That's a lot of words I don't know the meaning of. That's why I'm only here in normal clothes. You look cute enough. Like, seriously, that's a really good outfit. It, uh, it kind of reminds me of a uh, strawberry. Mm? Oh, I'm sorry. I felt a bit embarrassed. I did want you to see it after all, senpai. Ayane looks downhearted. Oh, no! There was something I needed to say to you. What's up? Um, Happy New Year! May this year be great for you as well. My aspiration for this year is to become one with you, senpai. W uh... Uh... <laughs> to become one with you and... Uh... Something about that didn't sound right. I don't like the way it came out. Um, what I wanted to say was... When I'm with you, I feel that fun things are twice as fun, and sad things are half as sad. What I'm wishing is that you'd feel the same way with me. I want our feelings to match up. Okay. Shall we visit the shrine? What are you gonna wish for? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna tease her like that. That's uh, okay. I think you're going to make a wish about me. Y you can't. You need to make a wish for yourself. If you made a wish for me, I'm sure the heavens would punish me. <laughs> My right. everyday life is so fun just because I'm with you. Normal things just feel special when we're together. Seeing you laugh makes me feel so happy that I'm thinking about using my wish for you. Oh, so you want the heavens to punish me then? It'll be something like, May God please watch over Senpai forever. We should draw fortunes next. Oh. My heart's pounding. This will set up the entire year. There are boxes holding uh, omikuji, sealed fortunes, placed in front of the shrine. Pick one and think impure thoughts. What? 
<laughs> no, pick one without thinking. God damn it. Your fortune says medium blessing. That's great, Senpai. Actually, the best I've ever gotten is a medium blessing. If I'm filled with this much happiness with a medium blessing, I'm sure this year will be very fun for you, too. Ayane is exceptionally happy for you. What should we do now? Are you busy today, Senpai? If you don't mind, um, I'd like to watch you a little longer. Watch me? Wait, I don't mean that in a weird way. <laughs> Ayane, please think about what you say before you say I it. I don't mean it like a stalker. I, I just want to be with you more. Is that okay with you? Uh, let's get some tea. Actually, I don't know. Is there anywhere you would like to go? Anywhere's fine as long as I can be with you. My friend in my class said that I shouldn't just say anywhere's fine. She said he'll think that you're a girl with no opinions and no personality. You, do you talk about me often? So I want to go... Um, uh, I still don't mind wherever we go, as long as I'm with you. Anywhere would make me happy. I should have just said tea. I should have just said tea. Welcome back. Sub Dojima? Dojumbo? Hold on. What is this? All right. It's New Year's. You should return to your room and relax. I agree. Ah, Snowy Inaba. Wow! Look at all the snow! Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but the doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. I can help. What about you, big bro? Let's make one together. Yay! I'll try to put in most of the work so, you know. Nanako, don't get too worked up, all right? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Okay. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? Uh-huh. Nanako's a good kid. Big bro, that's amazing! <laughs> How did you get it so big? Got you, base. You need strength. I'm a strong girl, though. I can hold a frying pan all by myself. Wow. Nanako seems a bit proud of herself. All right, I think you two have done enough. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. I'll leave it to you, then. Yeah? Just watch and learn. <laughs> You're not the master of snowmen in this house yet. There. Nice. It's done! It still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. We're gonna draw a face? Hey, big bro, I want it to look like Teddy. Oh, God. Can you make the face look like Teddy? You decided to adapt the snowman in a Teddy-like way.
Oh, no. You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. Thanks, big bro. Nanako is very happy. You're glad that you put effort into it. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. Yeah. Aw, already? I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Oh yeah, Nanako drinks coffee. Okay, make it sweet for me. It's gonna stunt her fucking growth. At least that's what, that's what my parents told me. You know, if I didn't drink coffee as a kid, I'd be like six foot seven by now. All right. Ah, uh, Happy New Year's. It's sure snowing a lot, isn't it? Bet this is something you don't see much in the big city. It may be cold, but you don't. But don't you think it's soothing too? I'm planning on taking the first three days of the new year off to recharge my batteries for the rest of the year. Hope to do business with you then too, mister. The dog's dead. I know it. I'm just taking a look around. Hey, Happy New Year! I hope you continue to visit Sozai Daigaku this year, too. My wife suddenly collapsed the other day. The doctors gave her an IV and sent her home, but she's overexerting herself. She's gotten better, but she still needs to be resting. She went back to work anyway, though. I don't want her to relapse, but she says that her job is the only reason she has for living. How are you doing today, Mr. Cat? <laughs> Meep. Oh, man. Even you're out today, you little shit. Man, that's a lot of snow. It's a wonderful winter review. Speaking of snow, I saw the Egyptian woman at the shrine on New Year's. She was dressed the same as ever, so she really stood out. She didn't seem to care much about that, though. And honestly, she looks surprisingly good against that snowy backdrop. I wish I could be like her. I mean, seriously, she she fucking wears that shit to work as a teacher. It's insane. She's got balls. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What business do you have here? To say Happy New Year. My, quite formal of you. I did not realize that the year had passed. After all, this room is distance from time. Ah, uh, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Marie has left this room. Huh? I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. Oh, she dead? Uh... Why? I do not know everything. This room is tightly bound to your fate. My master selects the scenery and even the other residents to match the fate of our occasional customers, and we always change. You may have already noticed, but it was you who ushered her here. She arrived in this place not long after you first visited this room. All we did was provide a name and a role for her. Your fate led Marie here, and you forged a bond with her. 
Where did she go? I do not know either. However, if you wish, I can locate Marie and take you to her. I must warn you, though. It may involve danger. What is your choice? I don't care about danger. I'll go. Very well. Please give me some time. Once I am prepared, I will come for you. Please wait until then. Where did Marie go? You decide to wait for Margaret to come for you. Yo, what's the forecast, Margaret? Nothing? I... We got some fucking bangers of skill cards. Achievement unlocked. Card collector. There are others with whom you have become acquainted over the past year. You should greet them. All right. Happy New Year! Wait, I said that yesterday, didn't I? Still, I don't mind wishing you a Happy New Year over and over. Hopefully I'll be wishing you a Happy New Year next year. The year after that, and for all the years to come. So, um, I hope this year is a great one for us both. Happy New Year! So much happened last year, but I think I managed to get through it all because I had all of you with me. This is nothing new, but thank you. Let's make this a year to remember, too. That reminds me, have you spoken with Yosuke-kun? He, he asked me if I had any plans for the start of the year. It sounded like he was up to something. <laughs> Can't wait to find out what. Happy New Year! We went through a ton of stuff last year, but I'm glad we're all safe and ready to ring in the new year together. Oh yeah! This year, instead of cutting the rice cake, let's cut and eat steak. It's practically the same thing, right? Yosuke seems to be planning something uh, for winter break. He said we should all go out and have fun. Hold on, I need to check something. Okay. The Adachi fight was kind of funny. I'm I'm kind of sad he wasn't weak. Happy New Year. To wind because he had Izanagi. Yo, comment. Happy New Year's. I love this time of year. You feel that in the air? That's the feeling of perfect relaxation. Uh, but I think we'll go back home so much New Year's food there, I feel like I'm bulking up. But, starting to miss Aya, you know? I'm gonna have to drag Daisuke there one of these days. <laughs> you better come with us too, alright? Anyway, let's make this a great year. Ugh. So, um, for the team social links, does that mean I have to greet 
everyone of the team, or is it only for the individuals? Because I have to talk to everyone who I have Social Link 10 with, right? So for, like, Investigation Team and, what what is it, Seekers of the Truth? So, like, do I have to talk to everyone? That's after the time skip? Wait, but we just had, like, two time skips. So there's another time skip? Are you fucking me? Happy New Year. I feel as though time has gone by faster since the new year began. The case is over, and I have nothing left to accomplish here. But I thought, well, I may as well enjoy normal life with the rest of you. So, once again, may this year be fruitful for us both, Senpai. I guess I'll just talk to everyone then. You haven't time skipped though? It skipped from the 26th to the 31st. My. Ah, common Chen. It's five days! That's like a whole week. It's a business week. You always seem so energetic. I'm sorry. I'm currently in mourning, so I can't do a New Year's greeting with you. Happy New Year. But I'm glad we were able to meet. Let's talk together again sometime. I hope this year is awesome for you. I like New Year's. It's calm and quiet, but exciting at the same time. I feel like we had a pretty good year last year. I hope to have tons of fun with you, and all the others this year too. Let's make this year even better than the last. How you doing? Happy faggot. New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Feels odd to run into each other like this in town. We always met in my room after all. I feel a little nervous now. Hey, bitch. Hey. What are you doing here on New Year's? Oh, yeah, you live around here. Well, Happy New Year's. It's such a generic greeting, but I may as well say it. Wandering around like this isn't so bad every once in a while. Well, see you around sometime. Bro, we're not even going to be able to fucking greet Sayoko, are we? That's going to be fucked. All right, we gotta go say hi, Happy New Year to the fox. You hear? Fox man? Yo, why your fur yellow? You bid the fox a Happy New Year. The fox seems happy. The fox is gleefully looking at the offering box. It seems quite a lot of people have left offerings on their first visit of the year. You part with the ecstatic fox and decide to leave. How you doing, old man? That bizarre fog. Yes, it wasn't Juna's fault after all. All they show on TV is gibberish. I don't trust a damn word of it. 
Still, though, I impressed you came to greet me in this snow, boy. Simple acts of kindness like that that make bonds between people, and that's good for everyone. What this town needs now is for people to come together. I should follow your example, boy. Yeah, you should. Old head. Yo, oh, I guess I should greet you too. Happy New Year. I got bored of watching TV, so I'm taking a walk outside. Can't stand this boredom. If my friend was free, I would have gone skiing with him. Oh well, I guess I'll go check out the bookstore. It's quite chilly this year, though I say that every year. Maybe it's uh, because I stay home all the time during New Year's. Well, why not? As long as I get my, all my shopping done. New Year's dishes last long enough uh, that I don't need to use kitchen... What? New Year's dishes last long enough that I don't need to use the kitchen much during that time. Huh? <laughs> Happy New Year! Yo, Senpai! Happy New Year's! With the fog cleared, I'm feeling pretty good about this next year. I was bored on New Year's Day, so I went out on my bike. And I got lost and ended up in the mountains. But this kind of snow is no problem for me. So we should go somewhere again. I'll follow you wherever you want this year, too. So let's make it a kick-ass year. Um, hello. Uh, I'm currently in mourning, so I can't really... The town gets so quiet on New Year's, but for some reason, there's still this warm atmosphere about it. I wonder if it's the warm aura of all the happy families spreading out from their homes into the streets. All right, depress. You can get to Inaba Municipal Hospital from the bus stop. Good fucking... Good game. Zero out of ten. Literally unplayable. Inaba Municipal Hospital. Oh, what's the matter? I'm impressed to see you already here and working on New Year's. Alright, first I need you to clean the floors, then move the patients' beds, and... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Happy New Year's. Come back when things have calmed down. You say farewell to Sayoko, who seems busy, and decide to return to town. Uh, is there anyone else? I don't think there will be anyone at Yasogami. Oh, it's the new year! So there's gonna be a new fucking... Oh. We gotta check. We gotta see if we can get it. Happy New Year! 30 Frames gives you the hottest new movies and the most addictive crane game. We hope to be your number one destination in the new year. Alright, come on. Fuck. Happy New Year's, officer. This is the Okina... I didn't think that the serial killer would have been a police detective. I'm too shocked for words. Why? Why, hello. Happy New Year's. I'm exhausted from all of the year-end work. Good thing I kept busy, though. Wouldn't want to waste my time. Uh, I went back to my parents for New Year's, although I was only there a couple of days. My parents have uh, the most horrific fashion sense. I wanted to give them something that's more in. I thought these New Year's sales going on everywhere would be the perfect chance. If only Croco Fur would hold one. Speaking of which... Damn. Literally the last day. Happy New Year. I didn't think I'd ring in the New Year like this. It's 
been a while since I was on solid ground this time of year. What do I really want to do? I don't know. But I have to go. Well, Happy New Year to you! Crocofer is the most fashionable store around here, isn't it? I'm disappointed they don't have any New Year's sales. Yeah, me too. Hey, Happy New Year. I had a relaxing time with my family over the holidays. It had been a while since I had a nice break like that. It was all thanks to my family. I'm here today with my family, though it's not like I can buy anything for my kids. But seeing the excitement on their faces makes me want to work harder. Alright. Ugh. Man, I haven't seen Yosuke yet. Where could he possibly be? Hey, Teddy, you know where Yosuke is? Hey, Yosuke, you seen Yosuke? Ah, fuck, I swear to God, he disappears. Happy New Year. Man, New Year's already. This year went by way too fast. Well, that just shows how awesome we did last year. We solved the case, after all. All that's left is to have some fun uh, with the time we have left. I've already thought up some plans for winter break. <laughs> You're going to be part of it, like it or not. Let's make this year a great one, too, partner. That was the last of those you met over the last year that you needed to greet. Should you head home now? Um. I want to check something real quick. Fuck. Okay. Happy New Year. Yeah, let's head home. To the Dojim Dojumbo residence. <laughs> All the cats. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Can I kick over the Teddy Snowman? Welcome back. Your skin is clammy and cold after walking around all day. Yeah, seriously. I'm going back to the hospital tomorrow, even though there's nothing wrong with me anymore. But I'll be a good girl there. When I come back, let's make another snowman. Ah, oh, right. There was something I was going to give you. Here, make sure you use it carefully. Dojima gave you a New Year's gift envelope. You found 30,000 yen inside. <laughs> There's no need to hold back. Doing this is supposed to make the giver happy, too. I make Nanako save her money every year, but maybe I should let her use it as she really... She wants to pretty soon. Let's do our best this year, too. Yeah. Let's. I don't know why I even did that. You feel a chill. Did you catch a cold? You should return to your room and rest. Probably just warming up because it fucking was out all day. You know how like when you lose feeling? In like a limb? It seems someone is at your door. Happy New Year! Oh wait, I already said that. I hope we get along this year too! We really didn't get along last year, Teddy. I don't know. Mm. But I already said that. <laughs> Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the area. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you for inviting me in. Uh. You've got to wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. Yeah, come on, Teddy. Well, would you like to come in, Yosuke? Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? Oh, damn. There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local. 
And the snow quality is supposed to be pretty good, too. What do you think? Yeah, let's invite it, everyone. Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. They both said that they're free, too. So I'm going to start making serious plans for this. Sounds great. Yukiko is usually busy during this season, too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. Ooh, another overnight event. Teddy. Teddy. No. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. You're gonna leave tire tracks in your pants after I beat the shit out of you. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak-in? What? Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. Seriously. It ain't over till it's over! Teddy. Shit. In your pants. After I beat it, out of you. That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Do you even know how to ski? Oh. Ah, you guys are here. What's up, Dojima? Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Same to you. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. We should be back by the middle of the month. Uh... Are you going on a trip? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Oh, back by the middle of the- Okay, you're just going to the hospital. I was like, are you guys, like, leaving? Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. No, that's- that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. But I'm all better! You don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? <laughs> don't worry, I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? Well then... Sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. See you, big bro! Poor Sensei. Are you all alone at home again? It's not so bad. I know! Don't! No! No! Bad! I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back! No! Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless. Soon enough, you're going to be buried in the garden. Ugh. Keep quiet. Don't worry about me. I listen to stuff all the time now. I'm a good bear. No, you're not. Are you really okay with this? Man, you really are easygoing. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bear longings and some snacks. He's not gonna last to the end of the week. Man, he's out of our control. Look, just let him spend one day here, at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out. All right. Sounds good, partner. You are going to go skiing with the others. At the same time, Teddy will live uh, with you while Dojima and Nanako are away. You hope things will be okay. When Teddy returns with his belongings, you spend time helping him unpack. What belongings does he have? Thanks for helping me unpack! I can't even do a Teddy voice. You and me sleeping under the same roof from now on. 
Ugh, don't remind me. Your chill seems to have gotten even worse at night. You should return to your room and rest. You feel dizzy. What's going on? Your vision begins to waver. Huh? S -s sensei You can hear Teddy's voice from far away. This is... Oh. Okay, um, I tucked him in, took his temperature, next comes... Hmm... Ah, this calls for a cold pillow. Hang in there, Sensei. Your body feels heavy. Your vision blurs again. This is... Looks like you are having another dream. Well, I came to say goodbye. It's been fun. Where are you going? I'm sorry. Don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. It's a shame I won't be there to see it. <sighs> Thank you. I'm so glad to have met you. So, let me end this while I'm still happy. Goodbye. <sighs> Don't make that face. This is all for the best. Goodbye. Your vision begins to waver. You feel lightheaded. It's like everything is being shrouded in darkness. Hmm. He looks like he's in pain. Yeah, I think it's a cold. Winter around here can be pretty unforgiving. Hmm. It looks like the ski trip will have to be pushed back. No point in going without Kamen, after all. So, why did you put him under a kotatsu? Isn't that supposed to be bad for you? Huh? huh? Why not? A kotatsu's great when you're shivering from the cold. Uh, uh -huh. That's the cold, not a cold. Hmm. Will Senpai be alright? Damn it. It's pissing me off that I can't do anything about this. <sighs> he should be okay. The medicine I picked up from the hospital appears to be working. It will take a few more days, but Teddy is here to watch over him, so... Teddy, take care of Senpai for me. Of course! Leave it to Teddy. I have been sleeping... What? <sighs> Fat lot of help that is. <laughs> At that rate, you're gonna fucking get sick too, Teddy. Wait, three days later. You've been bedridden for a while, but it seems you finally recovered. <sighs> Sensei. Don't worry. You have me. It would seem that Teddy has been taking care of you. Nice. Good evening. I apologize for disturbing your night. There is something I must inform you about Mary, so I decided to contact you directly. Have you found her? Unfortunately, no. However, there is something I have discovered. Do you remember what I said before? I told you that if I led you to Marie, it may lead to danger. I am concerned that this may turn out to be true. 
It is most likely that her destination is not found in the realm of man. I believe it will be a true test of your persona powers. So, until I come for you, I would suggest that you work to further your bonds with others. Gather your personas in the time you have so that you can be ready when the time comes. Now, if you would excuse me. It seems Marie is in a very dangerous place. You should work to strengthen your bonds with your friends until Margaret comes for you. <laughs> you carry Teddy to bed and decide to rest for the day. The third school term begins today. It seems that you fully recovered. Sensei, I think you're okay now. Take care. You pull your winter clothes out of your dresser and leave for school. Obtained midwinter yaso. My best. Yo. My pass. More than common. Uh, you feeling better? I was, I freaked out when Teddy told me how bad it was. You are kind of groaning that day when I went to see you, too. Well, even if we didn't plan it, I'm glad Teddy was there with you. He put everything he had into taking care of you. Ah, uh, sorry I worried you. Don't sweat it. You're all better now. Oh yeah, about the ski trip. We decided to hold off until another holiday. I'll set some of my New Year's money aside, so let's make our plans then. There is that block of holidays in February. I think that might be the time to do it. Happy New Year, everybody. I sure hope that this uh, year will be just as great as the last year. Did you all get to celebrate the New Year in the proper way? By that, I mean, did you get to eat all the right foods? I had Zoni, Osechi, and of course, the Toshikoshi noodles. You've got to have Toshikoshi and while the calendar is changing. But I completely forgot to get the Kagami Mochi. Even if you don't eat it, that's important too, right? I was in a rush, okay? But I figure that I can't be the only one who didn't ring in the new year, right? So, Amagi. No, wait. You look like you'd know. Cold. Oh, God. Tell me. What are you supposed to put on top of a Kagami Mochi? Oh, my God. What? What is this? What even is... Okay, hold on. I'm just... I'm just going to look up what a Kagami Mochi is. I'm not even going to look up the answer. Mirror rice cake is a traditional Japanese New Year decoration. It usually consists of two round mochi. Uh, the smaller are placed atop the larger. And a dai dai, a Japanese bitter orange with an attached leaf on top. All right, well, an orange. You gave the answer you think is correct. Hey, that's correct. Not just any orange, though. It's got to be a bitter orange, called a dai dai. That means several generations. Of course, it doesn't taste very good, but the symbol of it, of the thing is what matters here, you know? Did you get all this? Uh, did you all get this? Don't make the same mistake I did when next year comes around. You gave the correct answer. The new year term has begun. It's been a while since you've met everyone at school. All right. That will be all for Persona today. Oh, my ass is sore.